surprised me. I didn't realize how close the Alps were to Munich when I first arrived to Munich. The fact that you can wake up early one morning and then at 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock you can already be at the Alps in the fresh air, that's wonderful. My name is Patricia Shardy. I come from the UK and I work now at Max Planck Institute of Extraterrestrial Physics in Garching. Going to the observatory to observe is always a nice thing to do. I always enjoy it. Actually, being in the observatory makes the whole thing much more real. Usually, when you're observing, you're observing in an office again, behind computers. But then maybe if something goes wrong, then maybe you actually have to go to the dome and take a look at the telescope. And that is something that I've had to do in the past. I think that's one of the very nice things of the observatory that we observe in is we have a lot of control on the actual instrument and the telescope itself. I work predominantly with observing sources which are called gamma ray bursts. So gamma ray bursts are a huge explosion, a very high energy emission. Um, and for a brief moment in time, this emission is so bright that it lights up the whole of the sky and is blinding. Our understanding currently is that these um, explosions actually are the collapse of a very massive star. So the star gets so large that it eventually collapses under its own gravitational weight to form a black hole in the centre. This is a star that has experienced a catastrophic death. And so also we also know that they died very young because massive stars don't live for a very long time. I think it is quite a tragic way, yeah, but they're very dramatic as well. They don't go quietly. I don't believe there's anything after death. I think we're just here for a moment and then, and then we're gone and then we're nothing. Maybe in terms of the trying to imagine the nothing and trying to imagine the not existing and not being. And maybe the work that I've done with gamma ray bursts, but also in astrophysics in general, maybe that's helped me accept the fact or believe in the fact in, in there not being any afterlife. The universe is almost 14 billion years old and the objects that I'm looking at, the gamma ray bursts, they're usually tens of millions years old. So they're, a, again, a fraction of the age of the universe. But I think it has to impact on my overall view and I, I think that comes across in the very, a very practical sense. And maybe I am less romantic because of it. 